kids are cracked. I just can't beat these 12-year-old six-finger claw playing fast as cheetah reflexes. I have a solution for that. Who the f It is I, the PUBG Mobile God. Okay... So what's the solution? Just shoot them when they don't know to shoot back at you. What are you... Use your brain, Zute. I am talking about the secret art of... Flanking. Now get to practicing! Okay, okay! Hey guys, welcome to the second video of Focus Breakdown brought to you by ESL Mobile. So without further ado, let's get into this week's Focus Breakdown. For this week's Focus Breakdown, we will be covering one of the most deadly but also most misunderstood roles within PUBG Mobile, the flanker. Now, the flanker is not a role that is set for a team, but usually a role that presents itself depending on the fight scenario. There are three main factors to establishing a good flanker. Information on the enemy's positioning, map knowledge of the terrain and angles, and most importantly, patience. For today, we will take a look at flanking in two different fights, each with a unique situation. The mid-fight off-angle flank. The mid-fight flank is one of the most common flanks to occur in PUBG Mobile. Your team is engaged with the enemy team in a head-on fight. Neither team can really take the advantage. As the fight draws out, more information is gained on the enemy's positioning, and your team establishes more awareness of the terrain and angles. All of a sudden, an opportunity presents itself. The flank. This flank is fast and even if the enemy sees it coming, they often do not have enough time to readjust the defense. With this flank, the fight opens up and the aggressing team is the victor. Now, before we move on to the next fight, it's time for a pop quiz. What are the three main factors to establishing a good flank? And the correct answer is C. The pre-fight flank. The pre-fight flank is one of the harder flanks to execute. Patience is key to the pre-fight flank. Your team is not fully engaged with the enemy and the enemy's positioning is not 100% known. Meanwhile, the enemy team is adjusting their formation assuming your team is all located towards one general direction. Little do they know, a flanker is in their midst before the first engagement even broke out. This flanker must be careful. He is completely off by himself without support from his teammates. This flanker must move slowly and get clear information on the enemy's positioning or he could risk giving himself up and put the team at a great disadvantage. Because the enemy is unaware of this flanker, the flanker can take his time to make sure he hits a crucial knock when he makes his move. With the team knowing a flank is coming, they held down their defense, stalled for time, and passed on crucial information needed for the flanker to make their move successfully. Alright guys, I know the video was a shorter one, but I hope those tips helped you out. Remember, 
Flanking is not as easy as it seems. It requires a lot of patience. You got to make sure you have the right info and you don't want to be that person that tries to go for the flank in some random angle and then you get knocked and you get thirsted and then your teammates are like, what are you doing? Remember, flanking is way harder than it seems and you need to learn and practice it. You need to really think about the fight situation before you can pull off a successful flank. So I hope this video helps you guys out. And until next time, Zoo Nation out. Make sure you like and subscribe.